And when sea level rises, it increases erosion on the coast, causes people to be displaced, okay, makes the damage from any storms, any hurricane or typhoon worse. In 2005, when Hurricane Katrina devastated portions of Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana in the United States, it restarted a debate on whether global warming was a cause for a higher incidence of more powerful hurricanes. Is it possible to determine if the increase in stormy weather is really attributable to climate change? Scientists at the Pew Center for Climate Change tell us that by examining the physics of what causes hurricanes, we can be reasonably certain about the attribution. Researchers at the University College London released a report on January 31, 2007, correlating a one-half degree Celsius rise in surface-level sea temperatures to a 40% increase in hurricane activity in the tropical North Atlantic, compared to a past 50-year average. In Belgium, Catholic University of Louvain's Center for Research on the Epidemiology of Disasters released a new report finding that 9 out of 10 of the world's worst disasters during 2007 were attributed to global warming. Floods, droughts, storms, and heat waves are all on the rise and affected far more people in 2007 than in any previous year. The number of people affected by natural disasters grew from 135 million in 2006 to 200 million in 2007. While some areas of the world are more prone to flooding due to climate change, many others are likely to face water shortage and drought. Africa, Australia, and New Zealand are regions the IPCC had singled out as likely to experience security issues due to water scarcity in the not-too-distant future. In summer 2007, the situation in Australia, which has been experiencing a severe drought since 2002, became so severe that former Prime Minister John Howard warned he may need to ban the irrigation of crops, a move that would have devastated both farmers and the economy. We would like to conclude our show today by saying something about the impact that global warming is likely to have on health. Physicians in Britain, Australia and New Zealand have begun to examine how global warming is likely to affect global health. Dr. Hugh Montgomery, Director of the Institute for Human Health and Performance at University College London, is one of the pioneers in raising awareness of the impact that climate change is already having on health. In 2003, a heat wave in the Northern Hemisphere is credited with taking away the lives of 35,000 human beings. And the devastating floods during the summer of 2007 in the United Kingdom are thought to be responsible for increasing levels of mental instability. At the Wellington School of Medicine in New Zealand, doctors forecast that warming conditions will bring more tropical illnesses, such as dengue and yellow fever, to currently colder climates. We pray for all people and governments of the world to have the wisdom, compassion, and the courage to take the necessary steps to preserve our beautiful planet and her inhabitants. Thank you for your interest in science and spirituality on Supreme Master Television. Up next is Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. May God keep you well. We'll see you next time.